Hi guys, welcome back to Linda Insights. I'm back with my dad for more Father Friday. Yes, indeed. How are you, Daddy, How today? You and you? I'm doing it's great. A beautiful day. It's a beautiful, yes, magical, wonderful day. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, Daddy, mm -hmm. as you know, English is not my first language. Neither is it mine. Yeah. And Zulu is our native mother, what's it called? Mother, mother tongue. Yeah. Mother tongue, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I often struggle with my identity and culture and all of that intertwined yeah. in who I am because uh, I stopped learning, in, uh, not English, sorry. I stopped learning Zulu at the age of eight. Mm -hmm. And then English has been, you know, in my mind outside, like English is my life now. So how do I, you know, still hold on to that? Because as my Zulu is slipping away, I feel like I'm losing a part of my culture, a part of my identity. My foundation mm -hmm. is starting to wither away. Well, it's still the same with me. Maybe it's also goes by um, age because even though I may speak English mm -hmm. uh, in my everyday interactions, when I dream, you still dream in Zulu? Yes, I should do. <laughs> Listen, I can't dream. Like, I don't even remember the last time I dreamed in Zulu. And it's so frustrating. Well, if if I cuss, <laughs> I still revert you back to, oh Zulu? yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. And if I, if I relax with someone that I'm used to seeing every day, Sometimes I catch myself having reverted back to, and yeah. I think like, well, why don't you understand? It's right? Like, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I've slipped, like with my friends when I get really excited and, right. and I'm having a great conversation, right. I'll be speaking in English and then, it's uh -huh. and then I'm like, oh, right. Right. like what did I just say? <laughs> so yeah. And sometimes they catch it and sometimes they don't, yeah. so it's like, yeah. Well, it's a very natural thing uh, that happens because all of us, uh, are made up or our culture informs or shapes us so as we delve deep culturally the expression of the culture mm -hmm. is through the language mm -hmm. that we, we, we speak so it's, it's kind of intertwined mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how I guess my question is how do I yeah you can I could just study Zulu and read it but how do I hold on to that identity in a place where I don't have that much time to practice it, to be. Does that make sense? That didn't make sense. You know, it makes sense. It's, it's a very complicated thing. Mm -hmm. We, uh, the adults, the elders, prefer that you would retain some of that mm -hmm. because in your culture, I mean, in your language is your culture. So that's the fiber that keeps you rooted and grounded in who you are, in who your people are, mm -hmm. and it comes with those values in life. When you, when you lose that, you lose so many things. Yeah. Like um, your, your relationships, they mm -hmm. are sort of watered down. Uh, the things you say in English, uh, they don't sound respectful as they would sound in in our yep. mother <laughs> yep. you know? so it's, it's it's really a collision of of uh, of cultures okay mm -hmm. so but then how can i continue to speak zulu if i only have an eight-year-old's version of it while we're in this environment in america all of your people didn't die in zimbabwe <laughs> <laughs> He just yes. told me to go back to yeah. Africa. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, interact with them. Okay. Learn from them. Mm -hmm. Be part of what they do, what they they, how they do it, so that you don't lose it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. great. Practice. Makes Practice perfect. makes nearly perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. perfect. Well, okay. So now we're gonna do a little fun game where I read a tongue twister okay. in Zulu. I haven't read in Zulu in so long. And he's gonna correct me after I'm done. Or like I read it real quickly and then he'll read it to see. I don't know, we'll see. You okay, we'll just see. <laughs> okay. Hola, Nigu Kotrende. Engo Tregayo. Eko Tregayo. Ingoko. Eya y Kokwa. Mukolani. Eko Tela. Eko Tela. Eko Tela. Umkolisi. Oh my god, I need to take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
enxiweni iwakoqaba ela koqaba awakoqaba amanxi wakoqaba okay why am qoqela ngengxabanoza yengxabano 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 eyaqabanisa ya yaqobanisa uqamu lokamu uqamu lococo Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was so hard. So can you tell us what that meant? Because people are probably like, what is she saying? Well, more than that, there will be many people that would understand this, yeah. and there will be many people that don't understand this. But I think the essence is that when you grow up mm -hmm. in a natural environment, you inherit the culture and the language yeah. through everything that you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, how you roll your tongue, how you say words. It's there, in you. There, it's in you. Yeah. You literally, uh, that's your being. You, you can never go to school to learn that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. But when you do it every day from when you're a baby, it's, it's, it's embedded in you. That's who you are. So that's why I said, if you want to keep this, be in touch with your culture, be yeah. in touch with, my with your people, be in yeah. touch with your roots. How can a tree produce if it without... doesn't? Yeah, okay, I get you. That's it. And, and for me, even as a pastor here, mm -hmm. it's different when I pay, I pray in English than when I pray in it, my mother It hits time. differently, doesn't yes, it? It sure does. Yeah. So get in touch with your roots. Yeah, and my next goal is to dream in Zulu because I don't even know how I would do that, you know? Good luck. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for listening to our little conversation. And stay tuned because in more Fridays to come, we might talk and dive into the culture of Zulu or our culture, yep. basically. I hope you have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. And, and get rooted in your culture. Get rooted in your culture, guys. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.